In this video, we're going to be talking about installing Beta 8 for Easy Stone version 3. Uh, so to begin with, let's pop over here to the website. And what we want to do is click on the Rhinestone Design Shop, click on the Freebies and CorelDRAW Macros. And by the way, we have some great freebie uh, design files for you to download and, and try out. But if we go to CorelDRAW Macros, there's two things you're going to want to download. Actually, let's just tell you to get all three of these. But we have a brand new CorelDRAW workspace so you'll definitely want to download. And then we also have the new Beta 8. Now, um, what we're going to do, I'm going to flip over to my account here to show you. Go to Orders here. So right here, here's the Beta 8 demo. So once you download this free demo, you're going to have four different installers. And this is where most people will make their mistake. Now, currently in Beta 8, uh, Beta 8 will work with CorelDRAW X6, but only in the 32-bit edition. Frankly, you won't see much uh, performance enhancement um, going uh, using the 64-bit version of CorelDRAW. Um, so because we're still in the development process, we focused all of our development on the 32-bit version. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, once we finish version 3, we will have a 64-bit compatible version as well. But here's the important thing to know. First of all, EasyStone will work with CorelDRAW X5 or CorelDRAW X6. It's important for you to know which version of Windows you're using, Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit. So this is the Windows 64-bit CorelDRAW X5 installer. And then down here, the Windows 64-bit CorelDRAW X6 installer. Now, I would venture to say the majority of you are probably using Windows 64-bit. Um, but, you, you know, you may not be. An easy way to tell if you're using Windows 32 or 64 is just to come in here, go to, uh, let's see here, we'll just go down to my computer C drive. If you have a program files x86 folder, you're using Windows 64-bit. If you only have program files and not x86, then you're definitely using Windows 32-bit. So that's just a quick, easy way to tell which version of Windows you're using. So the key thing is, is make sure you use the proper installer. Either you're using CorelDRAW X6 on Windows 64-bit or Windows 32-bit. Now, when you, if you're using CorelDRAW X6, you want to make sure that when you open it, you're using the 32-bit version. Um, and it will actually say, if you're using the 64-bit version, it'll actually say CorelDRAW X6 64-bit. So this way you know that we're only using the 32-bit. Now, you'll also want to install our custom workspace. So we also have that available as well. So let's go back over here to our freebie section here. Back to CorelDRAW. So we'll go ahead and add this to our bag. We'll check out. We'll go ahead and hit continue. And We'll go ahead and place our order. And now you can see we have two custom workspaces, one for CorelDRAW X6, one for CorelDRAW X5. So, and I should point out too, if we go back, let's go back over here. Just want to show you this quick. If you go here we uh, to the um, workspace, we actually have a video on how to actually import that workspace into CorelDRAW but it's really super simple. We just right click anywhere, customize workspace and choose import and you just follow the on-screen prompts and away you go. So it's really basic. Now, once you've ran the installer for the Easy Stone, if you go to the tools menu, come down to macros and you can open up your macro manager. Now I already have my macro manager open and if you install the workspace first, the macro manager will also be available over here on the right hand side and if you look here there is our easy stone macro okay now you can't open easy stone unless we have a document open so let's go ahead and create a new document and then let's go ahead and fire up easy stone so there's easy stone so the first thing that we're going to want to do even before we open up easy stone if you have a previous version of EasyStone, 
you want to install our new workspace and then come up here and choose reset easy stone back to defaults are you sure you really want to do that yes we're sure that will get rid of all the previous settings that we had for previous versions of easy stone and we can start anew so let's go ahead and open up easy stone now there is one setting that you want to modify straight away under the miscellaneous tab we have to set our stone sizes so let's click on that and take a look at this so these are the different stone sizes that you'll most typically use 610s, 16s, 20s, and 30s and what we have to do is we have to specify a size a fixed size for each one of these different stone sizes so I use 2.6 I use 3.4 4.8 5.9 and 7.5 and then for our spacing I usually use 0.5 comma 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 6 and this is millimeters okay we'll go ahead and hit save defaults and now we're ready to specify a stone size I'm just gonna right click on SS10 we're gonna choose our spacing usually I use a half a millimeter so now when I grab a shape add some stones you can see that the spacing between those stones is a half a millimeter. Okay, so that's how that works. All right, so now we should be ready to use Easy Stone. Now we can launch Easy Stone through our macro manager, or once you install our workspace, you can click on the last button and choose Easy Stone from the drop down list and open it that way as well. So now you should be on your road to use an Easy Stone. If for some reason, Easy Stone does not show up in your macro manager. It's a clear indication you use the wrong installer. There's no possible way for it not to show up if you've used a proper installer. So if it if you installed it and it doesn't show up here, use the other installer, try it again, restart CorelDRAW, and it should show up for you here in the macro manager. If you have questions, if you can't figure something out, just give us a call, drop us an email we'd be happy to assist further. So I hope you enjoy the demo. Thanks for watching.